What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's IP here, kids IRL here. And what I have for you today is how to build the Richard Control Team like a Chad. Hey guys, real quick, I was just accepted into the EOC Creative Program. They are giving us redeem codes to send out. So definitely wanted to be the first to send this out to you guys. Um, we'll be in the video dropping, uh, you know, pretty much whenever you see this, we'll be dropping, but you'll be able to use this code. Um, hopefully it helps you out. Thanks so much for the team over at EOC for allowing me into the program. And the code entered on screen, I will also have um, down in the description below. So make sure you um, click it and make sure you get the redeem code. Uh, also a code to download the game as well will also be in the link in the description. So thank you so much for the EOC team and I'll see you in the next one. So first things first, I got to talk about the tier list video that I just made. What it does is I talk about basically why these people are so overpowered, right? Why these people are so strong. Today, I do want to dive into talk about why they're so strong and why we think that. So, Richard, um, definitely want to dive into him first. We'll talk about a few ways that we can build him specifically and why he's so strong the way he is. So, if we talk about his main ability, um, it is you decrease your own damage by 50%, your physical normal attack, right? He auto attacks once every round, disregarding all batter effects and everything like that you launch one physical damage to a single enemy unit every round damage rate 320 percent huge damage it's a passive goes off every round right no matter what you know if your cc'd and different things like that can affect that if your target is already under disarm silent stun exhaustion state right a lot of cc effects you then steal 25 of their strength intelligence and defense for yourself five rounds if yourself, if Richard is under Disarm Silent Stone Effect, you decrease the skill's damage rate by 50%. Okay? So that's key right there. You want to keep Richard going as much as possible. Right? That's pretty key to it. You want to keep Richard going as much as possible. You want to keep him unCC'd. Now, reason why that is, is not only for the damage, but also because he's mainly an active user. So you want to generally keep him fresh you do not want him underneath control effects not only for the damage but for him to actually proc his own abilities now he isn't mainly an active user um and theoretically you could build him similar to how hannibal is built right with just uh command slash passives um but primarily you're gonna be using actives with him because of the team that he's built around especially so this is probably the perfect setup currently unless they come out with some new abilities um definitely for one it's going to be hades prelude this is an ability that you get further on into the season right and what it does is you inflict panics to two enemies the target receives physical damage once per round damage rate uh 94 percent awaken 135 lasting two rounds and it has a 40 percent activation rate which is already pretty strong so um that's pretty fair um, if the target's underneath panic, you deal additional damage, 140, and permanently increase the skill's panic damage in this battle by 20%. Pretty huge damage numbers right off the bat whenever you're looking at it at face value. Um, this skill will pair very well in and of itself, and with Zhang, we'll talk about him here in a second. So, um, I do think this is the probably the skill that really makes him right now, um, especially whenever uh zang is paired with him you also have a lot of stacking damage damage power right there um now let's definitely talk about roman scorpion ballista because it pairs so well with one another and number two i do want to mention the way the abilities stack is so important you want hades prelude going off before roman scorpion ballista if you have roman scorpion ballista first you're only going off of whatever zang can provide right because you're going to activate Hades Prelude, then you're going to activate in the Chain of Command, you're then going to activate the Roman Scorpion Ballista. So make sure you have Hades Prelude before Scorpion Ballista if you're using it like this. I've talked about that kind of several times about like speed and different things like that. So, now let's talk about Roman Scorpion Ballista. You launch one physical attack um, to two enemy units, damage rate 280%. Upon hitting the target underneath panic state, you temporarily increase your own strength by 45% when dealing damage. Man, that is just huge because that impacts his own passive and that impacts his next abilities moving forward. So, very good synergy right there. The panic state just automatically jumps on top of that. You already have Hades Prelude, and if you're using Zhang with him as well, um, you just have a lot of synergy right there with the rounds that he's going off on. So, 
a lot of damage right there. Very strong. Um, if you're not using Hades Prelude. Um, and these are just S skills. That's what I love about Richard. Richard only takes really S skills to make very prevalent. Now, if we were to get rid of Hades Prelude, let's just say we got rid of it, we would then move over towards, um, let's go over here to the active. What I've been using a lot of until I got Hades was um, Tiger Breach. I think this is very strong right here. Prepares for one round, launches one physical attack to two enemy units. If the target's being controlled, right, very strong, you deal physical damage in addition to um, at max 20 rank, right? We're at 300%. Um, and that's also one physical damage to two enemy units. If the target's being controlled, you deal physical damage additionally and inflict forbidden healing. So now, right, if you're using Tiger Breach, what you would do is discard these two or, or reset them. You would want Roman Scorpion Ballista first. Then you would want Tiger Breach because you want the bonus when you are dealing your own strength by 45%, you would want that before Tiger Breach. So, a little bit about the way that you would need to set him up and just the way that you need to change things around based on what you're using. So, that's him right there. Uh, that's pretty much diving into him. Um, so, right now, we'll basically just, we'll just put him back to uh, the way he was right there. So, that's basically the way that you would set him up pin perfect. Let's talk about Peter next. So, and what I'm talking about right here is the best of the best setup, in my opinion. That's the way that I've seen him work. That's the way that I've seen him work in PvP. Um, this is the best of the best setup that, that I've been able to come up with and definitely work with. So, Peter, I'm um, talking about him real quick. You deal one physical damage, activate 100%, and it's an active. We'll talk about that. Deals one physical damage against an enemy unit, 140, 140%. Not too strong, right? Maybe, but you, talk, you either make them silenced or disarmed, right? All of Richard's abilities are based off of whether or not they're controlled or not. The chance of this skill being traded the first time is 100%. Then each time it's triggered, decreased by 15. Next turn, 85%. If the target is already being controlled, the skill's trigger rate will not be reduced. So, if he procs it first the first time, then in the next turn, he then is um it then activates his ability on the same target, and if they're silenced or disarmed, it continues into the next round at 85%. Now... If the target's already being controlled, won't be reduced, um, you, and your unit with the lowest forces will be giving urgent aid. Now, urgent aid's pretty unique. Whenever this unit receives damage, there's a 100% chance they'll be healed. So, basically, if you take an auto attack, receive any sort of damage, tactical, whatever, they're going to be healed. So, it's a two-sided coin, and it helps you both ways. So, gives a good amount of healing, um, and does a good fair amount of damage. I would not think about him as your damage dealer in this instance by any means. He needs to be the one to set up Richard in every scenario. There's no way I would just sit there and say, I need Richard to be supporting. No, you don't want that. By default, it's basically like a Yi Sun Sin that does damage. Think about him like that. I wouldn't think about him as like some sort of grand damage dealer that you need to be putting a whole lot of damage on. Now, let's talk about Pacify the North. Um, now, talking about Pacify the North, which is definitely Peter's best ability. What it's going to do is you're going to gain Swift. I think that is just so crucial whenever you talk about this skill and especially how you build them if you don't have the ability, which we'll talk about. Upon inflicting an enemy with disarm, silence, or stun, or taking assault damage, unique phrasing, um, you launch a physical attack off of 200%. Now, his active, right, has 100% 100% activation rate so that means if you inflict silence or disarm which it does 100% of the time and you move first you'll then hit for 200% damage like that or if you go up against an assault team you're then going to also just inflict 200% damage so a lot of versatility right there very strong now to another enemy unit and puts them underneath the exhaustion exhaustion uh, decreases the attributes, basically. So, it just reduces the amount of stuff that they can do, removing their strength and intelligence by 40% for one round. So, basically, he moves first. He will then activate Pacify the North. He will then launch an attack at 200%, and then reduce their strength and intelligence. And he's moving first. So, very strong. Now, if I did not have Pacify the North, right? Let's just say I wasn't lucky enough to draw this. Like a lot of other abilities, right? You don't have to have this. Um, what I would definitely do is move to um, 
the pairing. So let's just say highest honor. What I would then do is go over to where I have Yi uh, Sun Sun. And what I would do is do uh, Parthion Tactics. I would then take Parthion Tactics and move it over to uh, Peter. What I would do is have highest honor. And then what I also would do would have Parthion Tactics. So that will give you both ways to just increase the amount of control effects going off on the field. Keep Richard doing as much damage as possible. And then give... Now, one thing you could do is if you wanted some more supporting ability, you could also take... Uh, pendulum put that on him then increase the amount of support abilities being done on zhang if you want to go that route i think both are phenomenal and i think both work well it just all depends on what you're seeing in your pvp reports always base it off of that if you're starting to see that is uh peter is not working in your instance with full actives maybe remove some of it and give him some more command abilities that might be helping him his ability already goes off 100 percent of the time you might not need it in the instances that you're needing it so that's just my suggestion right there it all depends on what you're seeing please keep that in mind if you are seeing that you need different things adjust them accordingly read your battle reports so it's just a couple of different ways to build it this is the best way that i can recommend in what i've seen being used now let's talk about zhang and this is really the recommended build and what i will then show is a couple of the different ways that you can build them in a couple of different ways that have worked so conquer the six states what this means two and fifth rounds there's eight in a round there's eight in a battle um you would then inflict panic we know how much that stacks well with richard right um the target will then just what panic just does is they inflict physical damage once per round um damage rates are 136 percent and 100 204 percent lasting two rounds targets underneath panic heals all wounded during the third and fourth round you then heal your wounded so very basic and it's a command the biggest reason why this guy's used is because he's a command user so he has so much going for him in that aspect now he's not s in spears probably one of my biggest gripes i know i did talk about it in the tier list um is that he's not s in spears i think if he was he'd have a little bit more viability later on into the seasons to come but i do think he works well right here for the time being especially in season one um, setting up Richard by default with Roman Scorpion Ballista, even if you don't have Hades Prelude. So, I think you have that going for you right there. Now, and I know a lot of this is the best of the best, but I also want to give people something to work towards and what in their mind is like, I need to go for this on this character. This is the best setup for him. That's what I'm giving you, and I'm trying to give you options to also look at as well. And then also, build your teams upon, if you don't have this skill, look for, look for an ability that does a very similar effect. So, Use this as a baseline to then design your teams off of. If you don't have maybe these exact abilities, what I'm giving you is a baseline to definitely work off of. Whenever a hero, and if I talked about every single possible ability, we'd be here all day. So, whenever a hero of yours has their forces drop by 70%, inflict disarm silence stun status to all enemy heroes at random. That will then last for one round. I mean, such... I mean, just in that one phrase right there, I would use this ability alone. I mean, just so much, so much versatility. Um, you know, whenever you get down, you have a way to kick back up. I think that's so important. The equipped, the equipped hero will then enter war wagon status. This effect may only trigger once per battle, so that's just one time and done. When you enter this status, your unit with the lowest forces will be healed one time, 90%, and their defense will be increased by 30 for each hero affected by disarm silence, the hit rate will increase. That's your own troops. Um, for each enemy hero, the heal rate will be increased by, and then be increased by initial 50. So that's your own heroes that if you're inflicting these abilities, you'll then just buff up even more. What an insane amount. Um, just, just so much versatility in this. I mean, you're applying a healing, stun, dot, silence, disarm. Your heroes are already doing so much of this. I mean, it is just a phenomenal ability. It changes how much you can do with this. Now, if I'm not using this, right? If I'm not using this, what I would then do is I would use uh, Frozen Earth off of... Um, sorry, I'm trying to find it. Um, where is it at? Constantine. Frozen Front. I would pull it off of... Now, 
if you have both teams, I would just leave Frozen Front where it is. But if you're not using both teams, and if you are trying to still make your Charlemagne team, and if you already have this team going, I would then use Frozen Front. Absolutely here. Uh, so you'll just increase the damage taken by any unit underneath Silence Disarm Exhaustion. Such a great ability right there. I would just use that in place of Bohemian War Wagon if I didn't have it readily available. So, very good versatility there. Uh, this right here, just... Pendulum is just a command ability. It inflicts an exhaustion right away. It cannot be stopped. Kind of like what I've talked about. If Peter gets immediately silenced, right? If somehow Peter gets silenced, you still have this amount of exhaustion. It still allows Richard to do damage. So, that's what's behind that. Uh, decreasing their strength and skill by 80. This effect can be stacked as well. Um, so, very strong ability. I think this works well. And it also stacks like how it's saying... That means Peter can also stack it with his. So, a lot of stuff going on right there. Just makes this team so well. Now, a couple of the different possible options, right? And we're about to get into battle reports. I do want to talk about why this team's so good. Um, a couple of the different things that I would definitely swap around would be Yi Sun Sin right here. And then also as well, you can also just swap this right here and then swap the skills on these two as well um, if you want to. This team also works fantastically. Just just swapping these as is i would definitely swap out spartan rampart for frozen earth or um frozen earth or bohemian war wagon um but this right here works the same exact way um you're still able to take fantastic levels you can also just swap this right here just as simple as that as well you will have phenomenal results with this as well um there's just so much versatility that, you, that offers so long as you have that supporting unit that Yi sun sin that Richard, right? That's the core of the team. Then you can play around with who needs to be right here, who needs to be. You know, you have just so much versatility with this um, that you just are able to play around with who you are using in that uh, second slot. As long as they're applying control effects, if you're using a third slot uh, with Zhang, you can then apply healing support. You can apply so much. Now, all right. Now, PvP, you've been talking about these teams. Let's see the battle reports. All right, I got you, fam. I got you. So let's go over here, right? We're talking about level 25s. Hardest thing in the game. I wanted to test it out several different ways. I equipped all the heroes that I possibly could. and wanted to show you them with all the setups that I had. So I wanted to show you that you could take 25s, not with just the perfect pinpoint setup. You could also take it with several different other variants. So right here. Let's go over this right here. First team, drawed right here. Um, this was also against another Richard setup as well. Um, so we draw it right here. We won it in the second round, right? This is with Caesar with Bohemian War Wagon setup and then Parthenon Tactics. This is without even Pacify the North. I don't even have Pacify the North set up on this yet. Uh, using Hades Prelude, Scorpion Ballista. Won this right here. Um, then we moved on, won that right away. Now, let's go down. Let's also then talk about, uh, Caesar... Peter, and then also Richard as well. Cleared it on the first one with Calvary. Then we also knocked out the second one with Calvary. So, just right there, um, you're able to pretty much brute force your way through this um, with Spears. I think that's pretty easily. I mean, it was a double counter situation, but just off of viewing everything, both of these people are healing for good amounts. Richard's doing an insane amount of damage, and you'll notice that is just... I think even as well, there's maybe even too much healing going on because Peter's with Urgent 8 is doing so much already. Here, Caesar took over and did 4,600. Richard, again, hitting 18 different... 18K. Now, let's talk about this right here. Um, so, this is basically the same thing, just hit twice. Um, this is with Zhang, uh, Conqueror 6 8 Bohemian War Wagon, uh, Hades Prelude, just the pendulum setup. Just absolutely cleared that. Then also did the same thing and took down them as well just a second time. Um, so, very good stuff there. This is also with um, the same thing. So, it's just very consistent that you're seeing 25s taken. Um, I'm trying to go back. I did a... Uh... Okay, there we go. These were the battle reports with um, right here. So, these were the ones with before I got uh, Hades Prelude. I was also using Tiger Breach. And I was also winning these as well. All with 25s, guys. All with 25s, I was able to take every single one of these. So, um, just as long as you get 45, 
you're able to take this. You're able to take uh, 45. You're able to take 25s and get that in-game currency to also build the best things in the game. So that is really all I wanted to bring to y'all today. Um, I hope this kind of shows you how to build Richard in the several ways that you can and how versatile he is. Um, so without further ado, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.